Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today, I came here, Tokyo Rainbow Parade 2023. I'm gonna ask sexual minority people, LGBTQ people, what's it like being LGBTQ in Japan? Okay, let's get started. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? You get from? I'm from Osabalor. I'm from Japan. I was born and raised. No, actually, I lied. Sorry. I'm Japanese and Filipino. Uh, first of all, like, what's it like being sexual minority in Japan? Oh, you, oh, you just came here, right? I just oh, came here, so okay. maybe, maybe him. Yeah. Um, I think Japanese people are not necessarily accepting, but they are very tolerant compared to other countries because they're never violent. Um, we do get a lot of stares when we like hold hands and stuff. They're not gonna like act on it. If they don't like it, they're not gonna yell at us. They're not gonna like beat us up. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's still a taboo. A lot of people are not able to like come out, especially like in the workplace, because they get a lot of, um, I think they still get discrimination. So uh, events like this, like Tokyo Rainbow Pride is so important for visibility. Do you think there's any differences being Japanese person, sexual minority, and then foreign person, sexual minority in Japan? Do you think it's different? That is such a good question. Because I think, yes, I think it is very different. If you're a Japanese person, like born and raised and working in a Japanese company, then it's like such a taboo thing to be gay. But if you're a foreigner, a lot of the times when I tell Japanese people that I'm gay, they're like, ah, oh, gaijin da kara ne. They're like, being gay is a gaijin thing. Like, being uh, gay is a foreigner thing. Maybe one of the reasons is Japanese media, they don't show it a lot. But like, let's say Haru movies, I've seen many like LGBTQ movies. So I think it's, yeah, for, for Japanese people, I think it's kind of like foreign things. I think I do agree with that, but I think maybe it's mostly like old people for now. Because, for example, I have Japanese friends, a lot of Japanese friends, and I'm open with them. They don't react like that. They're just pretty chill with that. And I think, like, I know also, like, my friends like the, this type of content as well. Like, they watch, like, LGBT movies or LGBT dramas and stuff. You lived in Japan, like, for most of your time, right? Do you think it has changed or do you, you don't think it hasn't changed that much compared to, like, Western country, let's say, like, America, Australia, Canada? Mm -hmm. Um, I think LGBTQ plus visibility has definitely changed throughout the years in Japan. For example, um, I always go to Nichome, which is the biggest gay district or LGBTQ plus district in Asia, or maybe the world actually. Drag, which is, you know drag? Joso? Yeah. yeah, like drag queens. They weren't really a thing back then, and now it's like such a big thing. There's more drag shows. I think like visibility has definitely improved in the past years. And like you mentioned earlier that there's not a lot of like Japanese like same-sex movies and stuff mm. i disagree because bl is such a big thing in japan right uh, yeah 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 i like i also disagree because me myself i watch a lot of japanese like lgbt or like bl like dramas and movies for people who want to come to japan and worry about this worry about you know being sexual minority what advice would you keep or you want to say something coming to japan as an lgbt person lgbtq plus person is not a problem like even though maybe japan is not that open-minded yet uh you're not gonna be harmed like you don't have to fear anything like we've been walking down the street and in front of all these people and i don't feel like Unsecure or insecure about this. I know nothing's gonna happen. Okay. Um, my only advice to LGBTQ plus people in Japan is find your community. Wow. Go to Nichome. I know it's very cliche to be like, oh, you're gay, go to Nichome. But that is what it is. Like, a lot of us just like, mm -hmm. you know, gather in Nichome. We love having queer friends. We are very accepting over there. So, definitely, if you're coming to Japan, visit Nichome and make gay friends. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Osaka, Japan. My mom is Japanese and my dad is Puerto Rican. I was born and raised in Japan, so I consider myself 100% Japanese person. Okay, so the topic is about LGBTQ. Okay. You are... Okay. I am a queer person, yeah. What's it like, sexual minority in Japan? Can you describe? Um... It doesn't really have diversity in this country. Like I used to live in Canada for one year and then there was like much diversity happening and it's like 2023 already, but I don't really see it. What I saw in Canada, mm. you know. Like what? Like, I don't know, like even LGBT is kind of like getting like bigger trend mm. in this country, but like Steve. we're, more than that, like LGBTQ+, plus, LGBTQIA+, plus, uh, you know. So people know lesbian, gay, bisexual, but 
That's it. That's, I feel like that's a, as I say, I'm queer person. I'm more like into over men's like trans men, trans women, non-binary people, like sometimes cis women. So, but they don't really get it in this country, I feel like. So people who want to come to Japan, but worry about this. Is there any message or is there anything you want to say? I mean, it depends on where you're from. Like if you're from like really conservative country, Japan is much safer for um, much friendly for, for LGBTQ+. But like comparing to like states or Canada, maybe Australia, it's mm, a little bit conservative. But I mean, it's fun. It's really fun. But if we want to come to Japan, like country size city is like not really open minded as much as like Tokyo or Osaka, I feel like so. But Tokyo is fun. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be beat up or like, no. So yeah, I think you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. No I appreciate worries. it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Thank you. Can you look up the camera? Uh, sorry, I'm from <laughs> Turkey, Ankara. <laughs> okay, so uh, can I ask your sexuality? Or? I'm bisexual. bisexual. How long have you been in Japan? I've been in Japan since last October, so s over six months. You're an exchange student, right? Yes, I'm an exchange student at Autonomizu. Okay. Yes. What's it like being a bisexual woman in Japan? Yes, uh, compared to where I come from, in Turkey, we don't really get to express ourselves very openly. So here, as soon as I arrived, actually, I could make a lot of sexual minority friends. Like, there's a much bigger queer circle. So I feel much Be yeah, comfortable being myself, my true self. Okay. Yeah. So you say it's easier to be yourself in Japan rather than in Turkey. That's what you're saying? Or? Yes, that's true. But I'm also a student here, so I don't actually know what it's like for working people in right. Japan, right? But yes. young people especially are more accepting yes. of um, all, all kinds of minorities, so I, I can make a lot of friends. I have gay friends. Yeah. We are friends from university. That's why I know he's gay, yeah. but he mentioned he never tell uh, his co-workers or bosses he, that he's gay. Because I think it's different, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I only come out to other peop uh, queer people because I meet them in those circles that I look for them. My per in my personal experience, Japanese people have been nothing but accepting of me and they're very kind. Is it because you only interact with someone like you? Or? Yeah, that's why. I, maybe I can't really speak for other people. Because uh, you don't know, because you didn't yeah, confess yet. Exactly. Also, I, I, I'm surrounded by a lot of foreign students too. Oh, that's yeah, 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 that is probably a big difference. I, I guess it depends on... Where you are in Japan. Where you are in Japan. Yeah. Because you can uh, build your own community, yeah, that's right? True, that's true. Is there anything you want to say to the people who want to come to Japan will worry about this? Oh. I feel really safe here. Please don't worry and enjoy your time in Japan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Can you introduce your background? Um, my name is Stuart. I am Stan's little brother. Um, I was born in the Philippines, grew up in the Philippines till I was 12, and then moved to Japan. And then now I go to university in Japan. What was it like growing up in Japan as a sexual minority? Oh, um, it was... Um, it felt a little bit like I was excluded sometimes, like, um, especially in high school growing up, I would have these like little crushes on boys, but then um, I would not be allowed to voice it because it was so obvious. And you didn't? I didn't okay. because it was scary and people were, um, like I would get grouped in with the boys and then they would all be like, oh, ano hito kawaii, ano hito kawaii or something. And then I'd be like, yeah, kawaii or whatever. Yeah, you got to pretend. Yeah, uh, yeah. you kind of need to be in the closet a little bit okay. because even if they don't hate crime you in Japan, I feel like it's a little scary when they like find out about your sexuality. And there's also a little bit of like subtle bullying, I think, in, in schools. Is there anything? you wish you could change about Japan when it comes to this topic? Um, I wish when they teach about like sexual things like that, I hope they would also include like same-sex couples uh, and things like that. Just to show the students in the class that it's normal too, like that. And also I wish they would like, like just include it more in general, like make it seem more normal in school too. I think, I think I've never learned in school. They don't really talk about like sexual minorities in school that much yeah uh is there anything you want to say 
to people who want to come to Japan and worry about this, about being sexual minority? Is there anything you want to say? Um, I would say if you're scared to come to Japan because you're a sexual minority or part of the sexual minority, um, I think don't be scared because、um, just like today, we had a pride parade. And if you want to express yourself and be out there, you can because people won't like hate crime you for it. And then you could, like, you, I think it would also help the community a lot if you showed how open you are in Japan. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. 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 どういう感じですかあどうなんだろうなこう場所によっては行きやすい場所もあるけど結構僕は結構クローズしてる場所も多くてしてないところだと僕はもう仕事上結構隠してるのでただ聞かれたら別に隠すつもりはないけどあえて自分からオープンをしていかないっていう選択をしてるのでそれはどうしてですかやっぱりあの僕あまりこうまあ40代近くてあの若くない世代で生きてくるとやっぱりこう。批判的な意見がずっと多かったのかこう周りがこうネタとしてこのセクシャリティを扱うっていうことが多くて自分がそれに対象になることがずっと怖くてだから僕は本当に信頼できる友達にしかカミングアウトしてなくて、まあ、いわゆるストレートの人たちにも、うん、してなくてただ本当に誰にもできなかった状態よりは楽にはなってますけど職場に対しては、うん、言いづらいですねやっぱりこう。うん僕は言いづらいやっぱりなんかなんだろうな出世に響くだったりとか何百人いるかも、うんはい、いると思うんですけど一人もいないんですかセクシャルマイノリティの方はこお公オープンにしてる人はあーオープンにしてる人は今んとこいないですね自分は基本的に隠してはいないですあもうですかそもそも LINE とかインスタグラムとかツイッターとかの一言みたいなやつにもうゲイって書いてあるんでだから友達になったら,だから追加されたらもう知られるみたいな自分の口から多分ゼロから伝えるのって結構勇気がいるから何も知らないところで知ってもらってた方が自分は楽だって家族にカミングアウトし,してますかし,し,してないですか僕はしてないですしてないけどあでも兄,兄が4人あ3人いて上に3人いて1人は知ってバレてますというかバレましたねバレて一応でもそこはなんとなく隠して「バイだよ」とかっていうふうに嘘をついててこれでも多いと思うんですよね「バイ」って言っとくとなんか紛れるかなっていう感じでえー、っとご両親は今も知らないですかなんとなく気づいてはいるけどまあまあ、うん、言ってこないし僕も言うつもりはないかなってとこでなるほど、うん、自分は言ってますすごいなと思ったど,どうでしたその、まあ、反応だったりとかその後の関係だったりとかそういうのはまずだからみんなつながってるからインスタのストーリーで言ったんですけど親もつながってるんでなんか友達にいじめられて言われたんじゃないかと心配はしてたんですけどまあ,あのちゃんと自分で言ったよってことを言ったらあそうなんだねって普通にだからちょっと気づいてたっぽくてなんとなく気づいてはいましたねだから反対とかはなかったです先ほどあの日本で行きやすい国行きやすい部分行きやすいところと行きにくいところがあるっておっしゃったんですけどそれは具体的にどこですか多分もう別にオープンで何も気にしなくて入れるのは新2丁目新宿2丁目, 2丁目であればもうどんな人でも別にねドラッグインさんいてもまあオカマの方いらっしゃってもレズビアンの方とかもいらっしゃったりするのであの男性同士でキスしてようが気にならないしオープンでいられるんだろうやっぱり昔付き合った人とかでも2丁目だと手つなげるけどそこから離れたらちょっと嫌だみたいな。日本人ののセクシマリノリティのうちあのクローゼットの人とカミングアウトしてる人の割合をなんとなく自分の中でどんぐらいの割合だと思いますかでそれは僕の中でゲイですよゲイの方は8割でバイとかっていわゆる男性も女性もっていう方はもうほんと9割くらい隠してるんじゃないかな結婚してるけど奥さんには言えないからっていう人ともう本当にめちゃめちゃ合ってきてるんでだからめちゃめちゃ多いと思います隠してる人は感覚バイもゲイの方も78くらいありがとうございます Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. I hope this video will help you to decide to come to Japan. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave it a comment too. See you next time.